Okay, I'm recording. Yep, I'm recording now. So what if you've got something that brings up like a lot of stress and fear or anger and seems to be very intense or t it seems to be very in your face and uh, it's very difficult? I get those. And, um, you know, I just see if there's, a, if there's a presence of fear or stress and there's a lot of ego story around an event, then it just means I have to... Um, I don't actually usually try and respond to the event. Um, I usually try and clear the fear and the thoughts away first because I sort of see it as levels of consciousness. So if I mean, if something in the world has triggered uh, and there's a lot of fear and a lot of I, uh, thought identification and stories, then I will, you know, I need to, um, as I'd say, up my vibration because that in the in the vibration of fear and and uh, negative thinking, shall we say, then you know one is going to be taking actions and having thoughts from that level of consciousness. So it's just not you know unless one has to, I, I don't. I will try and either allow the experience of fear and not make a story and dissolve the fear away. Or I mean, I can I can sometimes go and it's sometimes miraculous. The observer, you know, there's intense fear. I had that once um, where there was intense anger at someone in a 12 step group. And um, suddenly, the, you know, it came to awareness that go, just go to the observer of you and your story about this person. And then suddenly the whole thing collapsed and there was just, um, it was just the oneness and a, and a joy. And it was like, oh, my ego suddenly picked up something very triggering and I was in fear and judgment. So as soon as there was something that triggered me to just go, well, what's observing you and that person and this whole story in this room? And then suddenly the whole thing collapsed in a split second and, and it was just released. So that, that can happen, uh, but that's not usually the case. Usually I'll have to sit with the fear and not make a story or identify with thoughts and the fear slowly dissolves or I'll, I'll do the, uh, the prayer thing, which is I surrender to God this stressful situation, I surrender to God this aspect of the situation, and I surrender to God that aspect of the situation, and I surrender to God all of this, and I pray for forgiveness, transcendence, and miracle. I'll do it over and over again, and it will be like the fear and the story will start to dissolve away. And I can feel like the burden's released. And then uh, as the burden's released, it, it, or hopefully if I can get it to disappearing, so there's zero fear and there's no story any longer, it's almost like it doesn't really matter if one if if the thing happens it doesn't matter or if I do something and there's a miracle it doesn't matter it's like it's it's a non-issue now or of course would say meaningless so whether you know I wanted it to go a certain way or not a certain way and now it's like meaningless whether it goes this way and usually it always goes brilliantly miraculously because the fear and the story are just 100% dissolved away so I know now the consciousness of be, of being in alignment you know, that it's like it's taken care of. I don't personally, as an ego, have to deal with the situation. So I see dissolving my fear and my story as being things. Sometimes you have to make a thing urgently, and so then one has to. But if I can, I'll just clear the story and the fear away or the stress away. I mean, stress is just a lot of thinking. Usually stress indicates repressed anger. How dare this builder try and con me? There's real anger, you know, this bad person and, uh, you know, I'll, I'll, I'm going to tell him, you know, that he's dishonest. Uh, so that kind of stress and how could he take my money? So that thing, I'll just sort of um, uh, do one of the mechanisms I've just said on just transcending that. And then it's fine. I mean, sometimes you just transcend it and it doesn't matter. OK, so, you know, there was a dishonest builder and you for some money less in your bank account. Uh, so, I mean, so what? That's, uh, it's interesting. All right. Um, and I'll stop. Press stop.